Heidstrom with this week's industry news update, reporting for sportsbookreview.com. Unibet recently spent 13.5 million euros on the acquisition of Bet24 Sportsbook. SBR reported last month that the deal would see a few dozen Bet24 employees transfer to Unibet. However, one Bet24's employee's statement has caused quite a stir, as a player filed a complaint with SBR indicating that he was told his pending future wages would not be migrated to the Unibet platform. SBR is following up with Unibet to confirm the situation. Please do check the SBR Newswire for further updates. A Sportsbook.com US player has submitted a Kentucky Derby wagering dispute. The player believes that he is being horsed around by management as a winning wager paid 9-1 to one, rather than the track's odd he was expecting. The player states that by his account he was shorted $252 in winnings. SBR is following up with this case. In other news, Betway has not relented in its confiscation of player winnings. As reported in last week's segment, Betway is voiding the winnings of players who wager in excess of 30% of any bonus. This means if you deposit £100, receive £25 bonus, and making a £100 wager at any point during play gives Betway the right to seize all of your profit. Betway is on the SBR blacklist with a rating of D-, and players are advised to avoid this shop. In more positive news, the winnings confiscation dispute with Tipico Sportsbook has been resolved. On May 3rd, SBR reported that Tipico, rated C- by SBR, confiscated €195 Euros in player winnings. The player told SBR that he proved, provided proof of ID but received only his deposit back from Tipico on the grounds of potential money laundering. SBR reached out to Tipico, who clarified the matter was one big misunderstanding. Tipico alleged that they fully intended to refund the players' winnings and did so after realising their error. Please stay tuned to the SBR Newswire for more industry news updates. Now I'd like to welcome SBR dispute mediator Justin Seven to the programme. Justin, what have you got for us today? Well, I saw earlier that you were discussing Unibet, and I, I've actually spent quite a bit of time on this dispute. The problem they have is when they were merging bet24.com, they didn't have a nice way to merge all the future wagers. So when the accounts migrated from bet24 to Unibet, they, didn't, they, they couldn't transfer them. So what they did is instead they voided them, and so the players are stuck you know, losing any equity they would have had in their futures. Please could you explain for those of us who might not know, what exactly is a future wager? A future wager is a wager on something that will be uh, resolved in the future, such as who will win a certain league or how many season wins will a team have, but it is not just a regular game or spread or total wager. Okay, and how have other sports books handled the migration of future wagers? Well, if you look at how Heritage did it, they manually entered every single future wager when they took over the U.S. facing Greek players. And similarly, sportsbook.com, they voided all the wagers, but they gave the players the option to reinstate them if they won, which is actually very favorable. Now, it looks like uh, Unibet here, they're going to do something, but they haven't quite said what it was. And if you look at the e uh, email explanation they sent to a player, it is not technically feasible to migrate pending bets between the two databases. Unibet are and will do their utmost to ensure a suitable and fair compensation to any Bet24 clients who are not able to play after the migration. More detailed information on how this will work in practice will follow either from Bet24 or from Unibet. Okay, I understand you have another player dispute with Betson. Could you expand more on this, please? Yes, there was a player who deposited 100 euros, ran, got a bonus, and ran her balance up to 1,780 euros. She passed all the ID checks. Betson has one other very unusual verification process where they telephone the player and ask them a number of questions about their account and their wagering. Now, there have been confiscations in the past based on a failed telephone verification, but this one is unusual because the player says that she answered everything perfectly. She was asked at nine questions and she knew you know, what league she was betting, even every single wager she made. So it looks like bets on here has confiscated her, her money with you know, no real reason. Okay, so how do we go about resolving this dispute? Well, unfortunately, Betson is not willing to discuss this dispute with SBR. So it, in this case, there may not be a way to resolve it. The player will submit her complaint to Malta LGA, but I, don't, I think it's unlikely she'll get any satisfaction. Okay, well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you, Justin, for joining us. Thank you.